Hi, we're Rosa and Rachel from CrossRef. We had a few thoughts to share about quality and peer review from our perspective. Some people think that organiza organizations only register uh, peer-reviewed content with CrossRef. That isn't the case. Uh, and plenty of content that has a DOI assigned won't have been formally peer-reviewed, like preprints and editorials. The other thing to note is we might not know um, with a published paper, how extensively the paper was reviewed, what the reviewer comments were, uh, and how the paper was revised based off of that review process. That's useful information to know uh, for anyone reading the paper. I know that some publishers do post the, on their websites this information along with the article, and that's really useful. Um, the other thing that we've seen um, from the Crossref side is publishers being keen to register peer reviews and their associated metadata with us um, and to get identifiers or, or DOIs for them. And I think that I think that contributes to a number of things. So firstly, it sort of gives clearer tracking of what happened to a paper during the, the review process. This is my review process. Um, it gives a mechanism for reviewers to get credit for the reviews that they do um, and then they can add them th to things like their ORCID records so that they're publicly visible. Um, it makes it easier for a peer review to be cited specifically using the DOI so someone can, can cite or refer to that to that piece of the, the article specifically when they when they reference it. Um, and I think finally um, collecting this information in a standard way across publishers means that the information is more interoperable. So it can be exported and analyzed at scale, which is really tricky to do at the moment. Well today we uh, see nearly 20,000 peer reviews registered with Crossref the majority from PeerJ and Wiley, and that's just a drop in the ocean. Not every publisher will want uh, to take the step. I'm also aware it's not reviews for all manuscripts, uh, for example, a rejected article. However, I think publishers who are doing this help give a window into the review process at their publications for the wider community. That's it from us. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.